can't convince God. It's only by the blood of the Lamb. And then there's nothing. Death cannot touch you. The power of death is gone. If you don't see the blood, then condemnation is in you. If you see it, you have the power to turn away death. Seeing the blood. Now let's apply it. Unforgiveness. If you're dwelling on what they did to you, and you can't stop, it means you're not seeing the blood. Are you better than God? If God would not judge when He saw the blood, He passed over, are you holier than God? How can you judge them if He could not with the blood? You know, remember the, the servant who got forgiven and then he went off and he judged his soul for nothing. And he was forgiven of so much. Well, if you're dwelling on what they did to you, it means you, don't, you have lost sight of what God has done for you. Amen. I know people who preached the blood, spoke, taught the blood, but didn't see the blood. Still holding all sorts of stuff. They have the theology, but they don't have the blood. It's like a person who is blind from birth talking about the color blue. It means nothing. If you are holy, it means you don't see it. You don't talk about the blood and dishonor it by doing that. It's like the angel of death. God says, when you see the blood, you can't go into the house. You cannot, there can be no death. And, and the angel of death decides, well, he wants to go in anyway and just start killing everybody. No, you can't do that. You're in your car. A car cuts in front of you. You have to jam on the brakes. What do you do? What do you do? What do you really do? Don't give, me the, don't give me the Christian answer. What do you really do? Don't give me the theological answer. You start mumbling. You know, some of you tailgate the person. You drive up close to the person. I'll show them. What do you do? The Passover principle, you look at the blood. Oh, Lord, this is nothing. This is child's play. Lord, thank you for forgiving me. If I, every time you have to forgive somebody else, remember, oh, thank you, Lord, that I'm scot-free. It's Passover time. Pass over it. Pass it over. Put, pa- put the Passover into effect. I'm going to pass that over now. Somebody hurt your feelings? What do you do? What do you really do? <laughs> Upset. Some of you whimper. I'm never, you know, you don't see the blood. Pass, God is saying, pass over it. It's Passover. You're a Passover person. Pass over it. You've got to have something to pass over. If you don't have something to pass over, the, the blood isn't of any effect. So if you're a Passover person, it means you have the power to pass over something that you wouldn't pass over otherwise. Somebody insults you, what do you do? It's Passover time. Get into Passover. His name, the name of Messiah, is Passover. Pesach. It is Passover. So you get right into Messiah. When this is happening, when you're in trouble, get right into Messiah. I'm passing over. Lord, give me the power to pass over. You're my Passover. That means I can pass over it. You know? Now you might say, well, that person, they don't have the blood of God in their life. They don't have the Lamb of God in their life. They're not saved. No, but you do. You do. You have to apply it to their house. You apply it, then you fly over. Remember, the Passover lamb, you know, in Egypt died for a house. But the Passover lamb who came 2,000 years ago on this night died for everyone, saved, unsaved. You know? You pass over. They forgot your birthday. You know, it could be a little thing. A little, it could be the littlest thing, you know? But you can't get off of it, you know? Because if somebody owes you five, if they stole a nickel from you, and all you had was the nickel, you just would keep dwelling on the nickel. You know, but if somebody suddenly then gave you a million dollars, you say, what am I doing? You know, but if without the power of God, you can't even do that. You know, if they forgot your birthday, you know, you know, actually when they did my birthday this year, they had an interesting way of doing it. They decided it would be a good idea to let the birthday pass. The birthday was right on the service. Let it pass. Don't do anything. And then a week later was the, the birthday. And I, but I had a week of saying, hey, you know. I mean, a little something, a little... I don't need anything big, but a little... I don't need some. I don't need a big thing. Just a little thing would have been, you know... Lord, help me. <laughs> yeah. Now, if they forgot your birthday, Passover. Now, of course, if your mother forgets your birthday, and she's been doing that since you're a baby, you're in trouble. But the love of God... They rejected you. Some of you have been rejected. Everybody's been rejected, but somebody's been... You've been, you've been dwelling on your rejection... God, the power of God is to pass over it and get through it. 
The power of God is that, that love of God, you know, this is the blood of Messiah, but it's uncon- it, it is absolute acceptance in the blood. It's total love. I mean, it's the price, but it's total love. Therefore, you, don't need, you can't get more than this. You cannot possibly be more loved than you are. And so, therefore, the power of that that was done for me, that's the center of me. I'm, that's, I'm, I'm in my Passover lamb, and my Passover lamb's in me. Therefore, I can pass over it. Because I doesn't, it's not just that I'm told to pass over it, but I want to pass over it because I have something better. Why do I need it? Amen. Pass over time. Get moving. Passover isn't just once a year. Passover is all the time. There's a long-standing feud. Do you have any long-standing feuds with anybody? Well, they won't talk to me. You know, they won't. Well, I won't. Well, they did it first. I did it. Well, they did it, you know. Apply the blood. Passover. Passover. It doesn't mean you're not aware of what people are. You've got to be wise. But in your heart, you've got to be at the blood of life. I pass over it. I'm not going to dwell on this. Why do I want to be? Whenever, if, I, if I dwell on this, I'm putting myself back in Egypt. Because I'm saying no to the blood, that means I'm back in Egypt. And that thing that they did is bringing you back to Egypt that it shouldn't do. You, by dwelling on the grudge, are putting yourself back in a box in Egypt, in slavery. But if you can pass over it, you're out of slavery. How do you get out of slavery? You pass over.